Hi guys. So in this video, I'll be talking about a very important feature of VMware. I mean, it's there in every virtualization platform, whether it is VMware or VirtualBox. It is called as snapshots. So what exactly is snapshot? For example, you want to test something and you don't know whether the test will go fine or not. So what you can do is you kind of like create or save the state of the virtual machine. Then you perform your test. In case your tests go wrong, you can actually revert back to the saved state of the virtual machine. So this actually helps you to perform some testing or you know manually do some stuff in your virtual machine. And in case if things go wrong, you can actually roll back to the saved state. Now this saved state is given a special name and it is called as snapshots. Now there are two snapshots. One is a hot snapshot and one is cold snapshot. So hot snapshot is nothing but you take the snapshot of the virtual machine while it is up and running. Now you can see uh, this is the virtual machine which is up and running over here on the top right corner. You can click on snapshots and then you can simply click on this one. Take a snapshot of the virtual machine. So I'll give it a name as hot. Snapshot. Right. So this snapshot was taken while the VM was or we'll try to do something. We'll take the snapshot. We'll create a new user and then we'll try to roll back. OK, so this snapshot was taken before. Creating XYZ user, right? So this makes little sense. So once you click on OK, it will take the snapshot of the running VM. It's OK. Even if it is running, you don't have to worry. Now, can you see hot snapshot eight seconds ago? And this is the current state. Now what I'll do is I'll try to create a new user. We are trying to make some changes inside the virtual machine and then we'll try to roll back to the snapshot. So user add XYZ. OK, and MKDIR slash U01 slash U02. So a couple of transactions. Now we assume that our testing is done and now uh, the test has resulted in wrong results. We want to roll back. So what you can do is simply go to this snapshot screen of the virtual machine and choose this snapshot. OK, hot snapshot. Now, if you right click on this one, you can see restore snapshot is disabled for now. Why it is disabled? Because for you to restore to a snapshot, you need to shut down the VM. So what you do is close this VM or power off this machine. OK, so once the machine is power off, you can right click and choose this option restore snapshot. You can even select it from here. You can see this is restore snapshot. OK, so right click restore snapshot. It will ask you whether you really want to restore to the hot snapshot. Uh, nothing but this snapshot which we had taken before creating the user. So click on restore. OK, it is asking to uh, take a snapshot of the current machine. And then restore. OK, I'll, I'll once again specify this one. Right click a restore snapshot. Now it is also allowing you to create a snapshot of the current machine state. You can definitely do that. Uh, let's take you want to. Uh, uh, take another snapshot, uh, maybe like a cold. Snapshot and in this one you can. Put a description like uh, snapshot taken after creating the XYZ user, right? So this is after the user. Let's take tomorrow you want to say that, oh, we want to check something, then you can again restore with this cold snapshot, right? So now what has what we have done is we have taken a snapshot of the machine when our test has completed. And then we have reverted it back to the hot snapshot. OK, and this is the current state of the machine. Now we'll start the machine and then we will verify whether the XYZ user exists or not. 
and then we'll also verify whether the u01 u02 directories are existing or not eventually it should not exist right exists right so id xyz so this shows that no user no such user is available ls hyphen ld u01 u02 now can you see those directories are also not there so what exactly are snapshots whenever you want to perform some testing in your uh, virtual machine you can actually create some snapshots you create a snapshot before starting the activity you execute the activity you can even prefer to take a snapshot after the activity later on let's take something goes wrong you can roll back roll back anytime now what i'm going to do is i will power off this virtual machine and this time i want to roll back to the cold snapshot okay so that means in the cold snapshot we had the xyz user and we had the u01 u02 directories correct so i'm choosing this restore snapshot it is asking do you want to create a snapshot of the current machine state which i don't want so i'll just click on restore okay so we are right now at cold snapshot so we'll start the machine now this machine will be powered on from scratch actually you will understand the benefits of snapshots in real time or maybe practicing uh, something uh, because if something goes wrong then you don't need to recreate the virtual machine from scratch you can actually uh, have snapshots and then just roll back almost all the real-time environments will use snapshots because it is mandatory to have snapshots snapshots on regular time interval and also snapshots before and after any major activity so it's a must okay now i'll log in as root user so this time we have rolled back to the cold snapshot right that means the user must exist exist and the u01 u02 directories must also exist in the linux operating system so i'll open terminal id xyz now can you see the user is existing in the system and then ls hyphen ld slash u01 slash u02 now can you see those directories are also there so this way it becomes pretty easy for you to manage the virtual machine states you can actually save any state and then you can roll back to that state in order to perform the activities so this this one you will mostly use in real time but i would want you to give it a pr practice i mean give it a try at home when you are in your practice lab try to create four or five snapshots play around with these snapshots make sure you have some activities between those snapshots before you try to roll back